Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a crystal ball effect in Affinity Photo. This is a photography effect known as crystal ball, lens ball, or glass ball photography. With the crystal ball, you're able to create refraction photos, which means that the background scene you're shooting will appear within the ball. This happens when the light inside the crystal ball is refracted and it inverts the image that you see. This effect works well with landscape and cityscape images and you can also use portrait images. Fortunately, to create this effect today, you won't need a real crystal ball. First, go to File Open and select the landscape picture. Second, make sure you turn on Snapping in the main toolbar. Next, press Ctrl and R to activate the rulers if they aren't activated, or go to the View menu and select Show Rulers. Now drag a guide from the top ruler area and place it in the center of the document. It'll turn red to let you know that it is in the center. Then drag a guide from the left ruler area and place it in the center of the document. It'll turn green when you've reached the center. Grab the rectangular marquee tool from the tools panel. Place the tool at the top of the document. Hold Ctrl and Shift to make a perfect square. Then drag the selection down to the bottom, making sure it touches the edge. When you see the black four arrows, move the square selection so that it's centered on the document. In the Layers panel, select the background layer. Then press Ctrl and J. This will place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Turn the original background layer off. Press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection or go to the Select menu and click Deselect. Name the original picture original in the Layers panel. Select the duplicated background layer. Go to the Filters menu. Next, click Distort Spherical. Set the intensity to 100% to give it a convex look. For the radius, you can set it to your own desired look. This controls the size of the effect. I set the radius to 320 pixels. With the duplicated layer still selected, press Ctrl, Alt, and the F key to apply the spherical effect again. Or go to the Filters menu and select Repeat Sphere. Now grab the Elliptical Marquee Tool from the Tools panel. Place the tool in the center of the guidelines. Hold Ctrl and Shift to make a perfect circle. And drag the tool outward until you've selected the sphere. Once you've selected the sphere, make sure the background layer is selected in the Layers panel. Then press Ctrl and J to place the selection onto a new layer. Label the new layer Crystal Ball. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection. Also delete the background layer in the Layers panel. Turn the original layer back on. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Select the Crystal Ball. Hold Shift and drag the ball either up or down depending on your preference. Then press and hold Ctrl and Alt to make the crystal ball bigger or smaller depending on your preference. Now select the crystal ball layer. Press Ctrl and semicolon to hide the guidelines. In the Layers panel, click the FX icon. Select Inner Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Overlay. Set the Opacity to 100%, Radius to 30 pixels, Intensity to 50%, color to white, and make sure edge is selected. Press Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of the crystal ball layer to activate the selection. Then press the mask layer icon in the layers panel to add a mask. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select the mask layer. Then grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, make sure black is selected. Now go to the Brushes panel and select the 64 pixel round soft brush. In the context toolbar, set the hardness to 0%. Leave the opacity and flow at 100%. Increase the size of the brush by pressing the left bracket key. Press the right bracket key if you need to decrease the size. I set the size of the brush to 680 pixels. Take the brush and click once in the same area you see on the screen. In the Layers panel, click on the Adjustment layer and select the black and white adjustment. Make sure you place this adjustment inside the crystal ball layer. Set all of the colors to negative 200% to darken all the colors. 
Then set the opacity of the layer to 30%. Now go to the Adjustments icon again and select the Curves Adjustment. Drag this adjustment inside of the crystal ball layer. Place a point in the center of the line. Then drag the point diagonally down to the right to darken the mid-tone areas of the crystal ball. Next, click the Add Pixel Layer in the Layers panel to add a new pixel layer. In the Layers panel, drag the mask layer we created earlier outside of the crystal ball layer. If you leave the mask inside of the crystal ball layer, it will be added to the selection too, and we don't want that. Then, press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the crystal ball layer. After that, click the new pixel layer we added. Next, click the mask layer icon in the Layers panel. This will attach a mask layer of our selection to the new pixel layer. Label this layer Highlight. Drag the original mask layer we created back inside the crystal ball layer. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect the sphere selection. Select the mask layer that's inside the highlight layer along with the highlight layer itself. Then grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, click on the white color. Increase the size of the brush pressing the left bracket key. Take the brush and click in the same area that you see on the screen. In the Layers panel, change the blend mode of the highlight layer to Overlay. Once you've done that, click on the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel to add another pixel layer. Then, remove the mask layer from the Crystal Ball layer again. Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the Crystal Ball layer. Make sure the new pixel layer is selected. Select the Mask Layer icon in the Layers panel. After that, drag the other mask layer back in the crystal ball layer and press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select the new pixel layer and its mask. Grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, make sure the white color is active. Take the brush and click on the same area that's shown on the screen. In the swatches panel, set the blend mode of the pixel layer to overlay and lower the opacity to 75%. Label this layer Highlight 2. Now click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel. Label this layer Shadow. With the Shadow layer selected, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. In the Swatches panel, select the black color. Take the brush and draw on the lower right to bottom part of the crystal ball. In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of the shadow layer to soft light. Then, lower the opacity of the layer to 60%. Next, click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel. We need to reactivate the selection of the crystal ball. Remove the mask layer that's inside the crystal ball out of this layer, like we did before. Then, press Ctrl and select the thumbnail of the crystal ball layer. Make sure you have the new pixel layer selected in the Layers panel. Now, go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Secondary Color so that the pixel layer and the selection is filled with white. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Drag the mask layer back into the crystal ball layer. With the new layer selected, click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Select Inner Glow. Set the Blend Mode to Overlay. Set the opacity to 60%, radius to 80 pixels, and intensity to 50%. The color should be white and edge should be selected. Then, in the Layers panel, change the blend mode of the layer to Overlay and lower the opacity to 20%. Click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel. Label the layer Water Shadow. Grab the elliptical marquee tool in the tools panel. Take the tool and draw an ellipse beneath the crystal ball and in the water. Then go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color. The selection should be filled with black. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. With the water shadow layer selected, go to the filters menu. Select blur, gaussian blur. Set the radius to 15 pixels. 
Then in the layers panel, lower the opacity to 80%. Now this step is optional, but now we're going to blur the original background image. Select the original image. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Label the duplicated layer blur and turn off the original image. With the blur layer selected, go to the filters menu. Select blur Gaussian blur and set the radius to 2 pixels. By doing this, this makes the crystal ball stand out more in the picture. And this is how to create a crystal ball effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.